People automatically know who that person is. Ah, Melissa, Joba, Melissa. Why did you decide to be a professional musician? I born with music. Music makes people happy. It makes your day. It's originally like, come up like playing music for the king. You are the king of this tribe. Welcome to another video of Kiran Kamri Community Heritage Series. My name is Anirban Mukhopadhyay. I am the Project and Compliance Officer of Kiran Kamri. In this series, we discuss different aspects of community heritage and present them to improve our knowledge and awareness about different traditions and heritage. In today's video, we will interview Enfamadi Coyote. Enfamadi is a young, energetic master musician from Guinea, Conakry, a very talented multi-instrumentalist who has mesmerized audiences across Wales and the UK. Hello. Hello, good morning, Enfamadi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are good. you? Good, good, good. Thank you for your time and uh, thank you for giving us the interview and your live music. No problem. Is the sound okay there? With the sound, is, that's absolutely fine. Yes, yeah. Good. Very good, very good. Yeah. So, welcome to the interview. Thank I you. will briefly describe uh, the purpose of the interview today and we will roll on, okay? Cool. The, the purpose of the interview is to raise awareness about African culture and African music. Mm -hmm. So, we will discuss a few things with you as a musician of African origin. So the purpose of the interview is to popularize and raise awareness about the music you play, mm -hmm. the interconnection between the music and your community, right. and how the people of Africa around the world are known by the music. Because when you think about Africa, we think about rhythm, we think about music, we think about tune, sure. we think about uh, a lot of vibes and a lot of joyful moments. Mm -hmm. And so we will, we will talk about that and we will follow by a piece of your, your music. If we begin in your own words, you have decided to be a professional musician. Mm -hmm. And why did you decide to be a professional musician? And what were the driving forces behind your decision? I mean, what influenced you to be a professional musician? From the, from the context of your childhood, like a, to, your, to your present time, just shortly, please. Okay, that's a good question though. <laughs> I mean, I, in some ways, I did choose to have like to be a professional musician, but in some ways I did not. It's in my blood. Okay. I come from the musical family. Okay. My heritage, I come from all of my family been playing music for generations. Okay. Yeah. My family way um as as you can see my name is Mfamadi Kuyate. And Kuyate that name family, that family name in West Africa means something. It does mean musicians, musicians from generations. So I'm from that family. So I'm Jelly. We, they call us in West Africa Jelly or Griot. So we are musicians. So it's in my blood, it's in my family. I, I born with music. I grew up with, with music is automatically, you know, if you, if, you, if you go in West Africa on the streets, you call me like Kuyate because in Africa people like using a family name as well to call people. You know, they, he called me for, for example Kuyate. People automatically know who that person is. <laughs> See? So that's for music, storytelling, you know. Wow. Tell me, in the earlier days, was it a profession which has been established long time back? 
because community wanted their own musician. Was it like this? It's kind of like that. We're from a tribe. Oh. Is the, this, this story is from the tribe that I call Mandeng. Okay. So I don't know if you've been hearing Mandeng around my staff. Uh, uh, my company, I've got a company established here called the Successors of the Mandeng. I, I, I've visited your website, yeah? yeah. Have you heard? Exactly. Yeah. So that Mandeng means a lot of things. There is like a society, ethnic group. And in that Mandeng, there is a lot of people that go also, that uh, that got a uh, different work to do in that society. So we, our name of family, is meant to play music. Is meant to uh, tell stories about this Mandeng story, which been like begin from like centuries, like eleven centuries, from eleven thirteen centuries to now. To you know, to share that story from those to generation and generation, you know, my dad, my grandparents, they pass, they keep it to their kids, they perhaps they keep it. Our father, our father keep, keep it to us. We give it to our children as well. So it goes, it goes in the family. Yeah, it goes in family. Very nice, very nice. And just tell us briefly, how important is music in everyday life? In, in Africa? Yeah, because I think it's supposed to make people happy, especially African music. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. if you know, music makes people happy, it makes your day, it makes you feel like you have to, you know, like you say, if when you think about Africa, you think about joyful vibes, cultural. So that's why the music is really important in African society. Okay. So in any community event, say, for example, any birthday party, marriage ceremony, any joyful event, I would think there will be music. Yeah. And and pe people will gather around the music. Yeah, we've got music in each, you know, in each, um, in each department. Okay. Uh, mean, means, for different occasions, different types of different music. Different occasions, different people, you know, even like uh, we've got music also for different uh, families' name. You got all of all of that, like different families. Name they they've got their own music identity. They want to be seen for them to be happy. You talk about like I said, we grew. We know the story of each each of those family from Mandeng uh, tribe. So we can sing like for somebody's family to say your your ancestor was th like this. He brought this to the society. He do this, so that person is automatically really really happy. You know, fantastic. Yeah. So, so you kind of like a, as a musician, yeah. you have a data bank, maybe a diary or the something. What and uh, your your father's passed on to you, and you are going to pass on to your children. Yeah. Some... We haven't we, we haven't we haven't got a, an actual data pass or to, uh, 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 or diary, but it's like a memory. It's, it's, it's in it's a memory. No, nobody have a nobody have a. We don't amazing, need, amazing. It's on, it's on your blood. That's what I say. It's on my blood. It's in my yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, unless I speak to you, I do not understand how rich you are as a musician and how rich your your roots are as a musician that's that's the, i'm sure that our viewers will like it you brought up very nicely musical passage like your great great ancestors they observed the society yeah. so they made music and they passed it on to their children and they retained that in their memory plus they made their own music and passed it to their children. So it means that the generations is going by, by and they're having their ancestral music and also they're creating their own music. Sure. So how music in your community or in your, in your profession has been changed from 1950s and 60s till today? Uh, do you, can you see a change in music or in musician? Or in the musical instruments, can you see a ch any change in the pattern? I think for me, yeah, it's, it's obvious. For me, it's kind of obvious because no instruments, but music, the music, the test keep changing depending the the uh, generations, how they would like to listen to the music, how they want to listen to the music as well. 
I think, you know, even like people have changed the way people uh, uh, dress the cl uh, clothes. It's not like 50 years, you know, or 90 years. It's not the same dress. Absolutely. It's yeah. not the same mentality. Yeah. It's like new uh, 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 generation with pla this platform looking for each type of different type of like music, you know. So uh, to me, it's been changed a lot. I uh, remember this music is originally from, like I say, Manding tribe in West Africa. Uh, it's originally like come up like playing music for the king, for the, the king and the tribe. The king likes to be flatted. Our kings like to be really like splatted something, somebody like singing for him, like you wake up well, you are the king of this tribe. We all adore you, you're, the, you're great, you know, it's you that God chose you and you're doing great things for, for the community, you know. And if there is like a um, message from King to spare to the population, it's automatically been spared by our ancestors. That we're doing this today, the King said that it's going to be next year, the King said that we're going to go and, you know, you know, uh, have mail or something like that, you know. <laughs> but uh, to this day, there is no king's kingdom stuff now. So we must sing to advise for people as well, you know, and sing or sing more love songs, you know. So uh, your music, from what you said, is a is a living being. Music is changing as the society is changing. Our 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 this um, Manding doesn't change at all. The, okay. the, the things we've got doesn't so I'm talking about general in the world. You know? Okay, all right, okay. But our Manding, uh, 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 our musical tribe, the reading music, they doesn't change. People just like create through it, but the bass is there. If we talk about Mali Sajo and a lot of music is where each music go like a big story behind. So that doesn't change. Okay. Ah, Malisa, do ba fila ben Malisa. Ah, Malisa, do ba fila ben Malisa. That music's been created since my dad was born. Since wow. my granddad was born, you know. Those music been around lots of lots of time. But the law lyrics is the same. But today people can shop that. Uh, uh, oh Africa, I love you, Africa. But it's from Mali Sajo. But we're creating to make like a new, you know, style for people. But that's still there. We're doing everything around that. We sang the, we sang, we we, we sing the like the normal one, the the original one. But if you wanna create through it, we can do that as well. You know. So your, uh, do you mean that your your grammar is the same, your foundation is the same, the but, same. but yeah. you can create them, you can create different message to different people. To different people. Yeah. What you have done now, you are not only a, a instrument player, you are a, you are a singer as well. Yeah. It's kind of like a multi-instrumentalist, you know. Okay. I go, we got that from, I got that in my family from my mother. It's okay. Like my mother sing. And she plays balafon, she plays drum, you know, and she taught all of her kids in that sense as well. There is a lot of musicians, they don't sing, they just play. There is a lot of sing singers, they just sing, they don't play, or they play music, they don't sing. But so other, other people do all together, you know, because I chose to be uh, performing like internationally. So I gave myself to do you know, or singing and being musicians as well. You said about the your musical training. So what types of trainings are available? Like a mostly the, like a training given by the parents or or you have professional training facilities available as well in, in Africa with, with regard to music? In this day, we can have it, but we gilly people, which, which are griot, like I said, my family griot, we have a like family trend. There is no professional, there is no school. This day, there is like school, but it's not, it's not the same if you learn from family. Okay. That's the original one, that's the blood one. That's why you can get it like the whole, you know, feeling 
on you and your body you know rather than to in africa i'm talking about africa rather than to go to school because we it did not start like that learning okay. professionally in school so we got this day we got both but more like people learn basically like family okay yeah just to ask you for our audience uh, yeah. can you give us a very short like a uh, storytelling in your in your own music if that's possible please okay cool yeah job to educate people through your music to change lives so where do you want to see yourself as a musician in coming years what change you want to bring to the community and to yourself as, as well you know i would like to bring more of advice i can give really to community especially to young generation you know uh, I've been doing some workshop with young people and some of them really keen to know about their background or about African background music like I'm doing, you know. So uh, as for, for the community stuff, I would like to, you know, give more advice. But I've got my own, you know, professional uh, or like uh, career as well. I'm going to rent, so I'm going to be touring as well. So you are, you are doing the world tour or something? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be busy also doing that, but I'm still I'm I'll be always happy to be sharing with community as well. 
that's what I like to do in the future. Great. So lots of good wishes and best wishes to you from Kiran Kamri. Hope you, you fulfill all your dreams in coming years. Our interview is coming to an end. And um, as I said, thank you for being with us. Thank you for your time and all the best. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>